And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's an every kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No, I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5-800-TOM. 1-800-5-800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. It's been a while since we did it, and it's about time because I can feel the anger. I feel the tension. I feel the bitterness. I feel it. Every once in a while, it just starts to uh, boil over. It starts to rise to the top. And uh, I think it's time to talk to some haters. There's nothing I like better than talking to the haters. And the reason there's nothing I like better than talking to the haters is because there isn't another person in radio who has the balls to spend an entire hour talking to callers who hate it. This is the toughest hour for our associate producer, Dean Dino Giuseppe D'Amelio. Giuseppe with a J. This is the toughest hour for him to screen calls because, you know, every time we do an hour of haters, uh, all my fans call in and try to defend me. And he has to hang up on them. Thanks, but no thanks. He has to, like, uh, get rid of them. And uh, so he also has the people who uh, want to call in and say, I just want to say how much I, I love to hate Tom. I hate to love him. I love to hate him. Well, he has to screen those calls out, too. I'm not looking for people who occasionally disagree with me or mildly dislike my show or occasionally are offended. That's not good enough. I want bile. I want anger. I want people who they hear the sound of my voice or they hear the music coming on. They, all they have to hear is like the music. They hear the theme music and they hear my voice and it just it just gets them so angry. They're spitting nails. They're, 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 they're turning red, then purple. They're freaking out. They're so angry. Or every time they hear uh, somebody talking, hey, you, you, you should listen to that Tom Likas show. It's really good. Oh, they get so angry. You have to really hate me to get on the air now. And in fact, uh, Dean hangs up on so many people, he clears the lines completely. So if you've been trying to call in and tell me how much you hate me, but the phone's been busy, one of the great things in this hour is all the fans, all the sycophants, all the followers, all the believers, Dean hangs up on them. None of them get through this hour. The phone lines are left open solely for people who hate me. We don't even let calls sneak in if we can avoid it with people who like the show, like me. If you hate me, hate what I stand for, hate my opinions, hate the callers, hate the audience, hate the concept, hate the topics, it has to be hate. Don't hedge on it. If you don't absolutely hate me, hang up the phone. You have to absolutely, positively hate me with every fiber of your being. That, that You're listening to me right now, and you're foaming at the mouth. You're upset just listening to me uh, explain this hour of the program. Uh, there's nothing I can do to make you feel better, okay? I can't even talk you out of this. You've told other people about it. You've told your therapist about it. you told your husband about it. You've told other people. Nobody will listen. Nobody understands how angry I make you. You hate seeing my bumper stickers. You hate seeing my face on TV. When you see my name in the radio listings in the L.A. Times, it says that I'm on from 3 to 8 p.m. You hate that. Anytime my name comes up, you hate it. When you hear me being discussed on other people's shows, somebody mentions me on Frosty, Heidi, and Frank, and you're pissed off about that. Danny Bonaducci says something else. You get pissed off about that. Seriously, I'm talking unadulterated, 
abject hatred. No one else in the radio business has the balls to take on his detractors. And that's what I aim to do this hour. I'm going to talk only to people who hate me. And the phone lines are wide open because Dean has already hung up on a couple of dozen people before I even pitch the phone number here. But let me tell you, it's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. By the way... We now give out an international phone number for people listening on the Internet. We've never had a woman call from another country. And we've never had a hater call from another country. And I know a lot of countries are a lot more politically correct than we are. And probably would be appalled if they could hear what we're doing here. If you're in another country, call this number, 323-520-6211. I mean, you could be anywhere on the planet and you can call me now. At 323-520-6211. And we'll put your hate call on from any country. All you need is a basic knowledge of the English language. And we will put you on the air. Dean just hung up on another three fans. The fans call in to support me. Dean is keeping the lines clear just for the haters. Dean also has talked to people who dislike me. Dislike, not enough. You have to confidently say, I hate that guy. I hate this show. I hate what you stand for. I hate the topics. I hate the callers. I hate your opinions. This is your opportunity to let it all out. So, in the United States, you call us here at 1-800-5800-TOM. It's 1-800-5800-866. And if you're calling anywhere outside the United States, call this number, area code 323-520-6211. That's 323-520-6211. And we will put your call on the air. No doubt about it. All the haters... And here they come. Haters are coming. Oh, God damn. How about a little music? Got a little uh, hate mail here for you. You look like a normal person. Actually, you are the angel of death. He doesn't like you. I don't like you either. You are a psychopathic, schizophrenic, maladjusted social misfit. Every word you say just makes me want to punch you in the face. You are the worst human being I have ever met. Tell me something I don't know! When I watch you eat, when I see you asleep, when I look at you lately, I just want to smash your face in. You've got mail. No! Take your sticky paws off me, you damn dirty ape. Some of the hate mail that has come into the Tom Like is shown. This is an unsigned email. Hello, Tom. I have a request I'd like to ask of you. Why don't you give a party and invite all of your ex-wives, provided they haven't all jumped out a penthouse window for being stupid enough to marry someone like you? And then invite all your new victims so that all of your ex-wives can explain to these women that you really are the a-hole that you say you are. The reason you've been married so many times is because most people have the gall to think they can change someone if given enough time. Apparently, that just simply isn't true. If you don't get help and get help fast, the only thing time will do for you is to make you an old a-hole. Your disrespect for women is really unbelievable. I'm just hurt that you have a forum to express these hurtful things. So many young men look up to you, and all you are doing is teaching them how to be whores and become lonely old men. They will eventually have no one meaningful to share their accumulated toys with. Let me say before I close, thank you for deciding not to become a father. That child would suffer greatly. It's unsigned. By the way, may I just say this, the reason I am so popular is because I express these, what you call, hurtful things. Because the men who listen to this show agree with what I have to say. It's that simple. So there you go. Here's another one. By the email pours in here. By the way, if you want to send us hate mail, 
All you have to do is write to me at Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. It's that simple. Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. And I'll be more than happy to read your email on the air. Here we go. So many of these. Uh, this one, uh, unsigned, but... <laughs> I love it. The subject line is, you are an ass. This one's pretty recent. Here is the email. You are a self-centered, egotistical... I can't say that word. It rhymes with Rick. You think all the... <laughs> You think all the women in the world are too too idiot uh, too idiotic t o too idiotic to see through you? You treat women like disposable objects with no value. I do. It's true. There are many women on this planet that have more intellectual value in their letters to grandma than you have in your whole body of work. And strangely, you're the one who they want on the radio. Strange. I think that you need to realize you are only there because people like controversy. And that the morons who listen to your show are only doing so because you are the only host who understands their stupidity. I think, really, you should have more self-esteem than that, sir. Honestly. I'm sure that there are people who are not a moron like yourself. I'm sure there are many more intelligent people than you listening. I just want to try to boost your self-esteem there a little bit. Says, I hope that this letter may have shed some insight into your life, but somehow I feel this was more for my benefit than your own. And just for your own information, the only reason I didn't call into your show is because I am not your dear, and I don't appreciate you using it in a derogatory, misspelled D-E-R-O-G-I-T-O-R-Y manner, with all your female callers. You know what? We've got this woman's phone number. It's part of her email address. We should call her and put her on the air. I'm going to send that over to Dean. She didn't realize her phone number is right in there. Send this right over. <laughs> Get her on the air. If we can find her. I love it. Anyway, it's hate mail, and we've got lots of it here. And, uh, of course, uh, I am more than happy to go through it here. See what you people have to say. And you can send it to Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Oh, yes. Tom at blowmeuptom.com. All right, uh, let's see. What do we have here? My computer's running really slow today. I feel like the woman when you call Visa. And she tells you their computer's running really slow. And it's like, but your Visa, for Christ's sake. Can't you afford a computer? Shirley. Shirley, the last two digits in her email address is, but they're 48. So you know what year she was born. Dear Tom, by the way, just her name is Shirley, you know you know what year she was born. Dear Tom, obviously you have never been truly loved by a woman in your life. You were probably rejected by your mother and your many wives, so now you're a bitter, disgusting man. It's horrifying that women call you and treat you with respect. All women should get work to get you off their air. You badmouth single parents, apostrophe S. But remember that for every single mother, there is a single father. How do we know he was single? Maybe he's married to someone else. Both of them have the same financial struggle to pay for their children. Before I was married, I dated a single father, and I cherished his children as my own. You act as if these children are simply a burden that isn't worth losing money over. I, that's true. Why do I want to fund your bastard children? Those little parasites. All your illegitimate mistakes. Why do I want to pay for that? Let the guy who knocked him out with you pay for them, not me. Forget it. She says, Well, I worked for a woman who took care of her wonderful stepfather until he died. After her mother passed away, her stepfather had no one. His own biological child had died several years earlier, so his stepdaughter took care of him, protected him from doctors who wanted to give up on him, and cared for him until he died. You are a monster who is dead wrong to be an atheist. I, now I love this now. By the way, attention advertisers, pay attention to this line. Here's an example of the prime demographic who could reach her. 
I personally had an out-of-body experience when I was a child. My soul literally separated from my body. I don't know why it happened to me, but it did. Maybe it happens so that I can tell people like you the truth. You are worthless. Signed, Shirley. P.S. You better keep making money because the only reason a woman would sleep with you is for your fame or money. You are worthless. Well, I'm not worthless. I've got fame and money. Make a note of that, Grandma. <laughs> now, the uh, next email I have here, I can't even read the subject line because it has a word I can't say. So let's just say the subject line says, you a-hole. These are all hate letters. And you can send your hate letter to Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. I do read these, as you say. Every stinking one of them I read. Here it is. You make me sick to my stomach. You, I'll rewrite this one to say retard. Because <laughs> I can't say the F word on the air. And now, I'll note the grammar in this next sentence. Peons like you is who gives men a bad name among women. You can, now I don't, I've never seen this word, R-O-U-G-H-T. You can rot. Oh, rot, I think he's trying to say. R-O-U-G-H-T. In the deepest bowels of hell, you effing degenerate piece of the most foul-smelling S-word. Why, thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Uh, we got one more here. The uh, hate mail is just wonderful. And by the way, if you uh, have some of the same sentiments you'd like to express, now is the time because Dean has cleared. There's three open lines. The rest are all taken as Dean has been uh, combing through everybody who's called in. But if you call right now, you'll get in at 1-800-5800-TOM. But you have to have sentiments as angry, as full of bile as these comments you're hearing here. 1-800-5800-866. And if you're calling from another country, just call area code 323-520-6211. 323-520-6211. We will get you on the air. Here it is. This is uh, from somebody who claims to be uh, an advertiser. One reason we advertise on the music of your life station on AM and way up there at the power frequency end of the dial at 1550. Power frequencies, eh? Right under the O in Delco, you can find that station. The station next to the glove compartment, that's right. Is that we prefer a demo that is stable, has tons of disposable income, and is desperate for customer service so lacking today. That's all they want and are very loyal as opposed to the flighty, flaky demo you think is worth a premium. The reps come in peddling this crap and we laugh them right out the door. You want us to pay how much to reach who? If you don't know what I'm talking about, you'll quickly find out when you come to this white trash S hole. Portland, Oregon, which is another thing you don't have a grasp of at all. The Pacific Northwest, but that's for another day. Dollar a holler works great, smartass. You've heard that phrase, dollar a holler, like a buck a cluck? <laughs> Which is what they charge on AM radio stations. By the way, this wonderful individual says, You aren't so effing smart after all. Leave the music, talk, and discussion to us actual musicians, not wannabe hacks like you. There was nothing more pathetic than a radio jock coming through to the listener with that vibe that his deep, dark secret was to play music, but the jock never has the mental capacity to absorb what it is to be able to do so. You really need to just stick to what you know, being a creepy old pervert, effing sluts and avoiding paternity suits and social diseases, selling spots to a demo you couldn't pay us to reach, and shop talk. You don't have an effing clue when it comes to music. Sign the ink spots. No, it's not sign the ink spots, but you get the idea. That's our hate mail. Call me and tell me why you hate me. Why are you screaming? Because I'm damn mad. Tom Likas, 1-800-5800. The Top Like His Show. 
and it's hate calls. Talking to the haters. The one 800 tom I don't know about this. Danny Bonaducci is a hater. We got enough problems at the station with all this poison going back and forth here. Uh, what's the deal, Dan? Tom Waggers. Yes. Danny Bonaducci. And I would like to claim that I hate you <laughs> with every fiber of my being. Really? I had no idea. Well, that's because it's not true. But being on the Tom Waggers show doesn't hurt my career. <laughs> so, I'd like to say that I hate you with every fiber of my being. And that the millions of women that you demean, I would like to offer... My personal sexual favor as an apology <laughs> on behalf of our radio station. <laughs> you can listen to me hate Tom Likas every day from 2 to 3. Although I wouldn't have the job if Tom Likas hadn't said it was okay. Don't let that throw you and make you think I don't hate this man because I do. And all the other millions of you that listen to him daily and hate him, could you listen to me too? Because he's a dirty rat bastard. Uh, thank you for that, Danny. Danny Bonaducci, weekdays from 2 to 3 before us, and he hates me. Put that on the list. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Let's say hello here. Oh, look at these. Mm. Uh, Anari? Is that your name, Anari? It's Anari. Anari. All right, Anari. And I'm calling to tell you that I hate you because I don't appreciate the way you talk to women and how you talk about how they can't get a man. Who said women can't get men? So you said that you said pe um, women that are overweight can't get a man. Well, that's right. Are you fat? No. Why are you concerned about it? Why do you just uh, uh, mind your own business? You talk about women. Why do you worry about it? Is your mom fat? Is that the problem? No, she's not fat. Then why are you worried about it? Because I don't appreciate the way you talk about women, and I'm standing up for my rights. Well, you're right, but you're not fat. So that doesn't give me a reason not to stand up for what I believe. Why do you care about what I say about other people? It has nothing to do with you, right? No, it doesn't. But why are you so concerned about overweight women? And because if men have to pay for a date, we deserve to get what we paid for. Somebody hot. And men don't think fat women are hot. Really don't. <laughs> Seeing your dad agrees with me. <laughs> the thinner the better, son. There we go. <laughs> Anari, what do you think about that? Me and my sister. I've, I've seen bigger women with skinny men, and they are the. I've seen the men plenty and, of happy. Yeah, well, you know what? Cause that's because the man wasn't working, and the woman was making all the money. He's a chubby chaser. He sits home on the couch all day while she goes out to work, right? Well, I don't know that. Your dad knows it. That's right. <laughs> well, my dad is a big fan of you. I'm not a fan of you. That's why I'm calling in. Oh, uh, doesn't you? Don't come on. Don't you respect your dad? Don't, don't you think he has good judgment, good taste? No, not in your radio show. <laughs> really? Yes. That, uh, your, your dad seems to know what's going on. Well, my dad doesn't know that you're not a good person to listen to. Oh, I, I, I beg to differ. By the way, the show is aimed at guys. That's who it's for. Well, you have li women who listen to you also. Well, that's because the fat jakes want to know what we're saying about them. <laughs> hello? Yes, hello? Who's this? It's Anaya, her sister. Oh, hi. How old are you? Six. You're six? What is your opinion? Huh? What is your opinion? I don't like how you talk about women because it's not really nice. And some men can get women that are fat. Yeah, but uh, who would want them? That's what I say. Keep too much weight. <laughs> All right. So you, should, you should listen to your dad. He knows what he's talking about. No, he does not. Sure he does. Your dad your, your dad doesn't have somebody who's fat, does he? He has our mom. <laughs> really? How fat is she? <gasps> He's not fat at all, Tom. That's my point. I don't like fat women. <laughs> I don't that? like big ones either. 
Thick equals fat. Remember that. Exactly. Well, that doesn't matter because some women like to date. Wait, some women, some fat women like to date some men. Well, they have a very hard time finding a date. If you want to see a whole catalog of fat women, just go to the uh, go, go to the World Wide Web. Go to Match dot com. They're all there. Or eHarmony dot com. eHarmony dot com. That's <laughs> right, and there are twenty nine levels of compatibility. Exactly. Or compatibility. It doesn't matter. I've got millions of dollars. It does not matter, but still it's not nice to talk about bad women. Oh, well, I'm, you know, I'm going to keep doing it because I give the people what they want. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Like your dad, for example. They have some bad women and some, some men have relationships. Don't you love your dad? Your dad agrees with me. We love him, but we don't think he's giving the right answer. We love him, but we don't. Uh, we uh, don't. Who's writing your material there? <laughs> All right, girls. Well, it's just been a little slice of heaven talking to you. And, uh, Dad, thanks a lot. Tom Likas. 1 800 5800 Tom. 1 800 5800 866. My ex girlfriend, she says the biggest mistake I ever made was introducing you to Tom Likas, but it was the biggest gift that she ever gave me. It's the Tom Likas Show. 97.1 Free FM. SoCal's FM Talk Station. From Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show. Thank you for tuning in. It's the haters here. 1 800 5 800 Tom. That's our telephone number. This is Jessica. One of the haters. Hello? Hello. Yes. Well, I don't agree with you saying that fat women cannot get men. No, fat women can't get any man that any woman would want. You know, guys with jobs, guys who are successful, guys no, who make a six-figure. So so you are dating a man with a six-figure income? Tell us about that. I didn't say that, but I did oh. say I had a man. Well, you know, there's plenty of unemployed men out there, plenty of drug addicts, plenty of shiftless, lazy people. I didn't say that either. Well, what, what kind of man do you have? Well, my man has an income. Wow, where does he work? Uh, Quiznos? No, but... Where does he work? He does get a check every month. What, what does he get, disability payments? Yes. He does get disability payments, there you go. So uh, that's great, you have a man with an income. You have a man who gets a disability check every month and you actually called in to report that. So? That's great, what is his disability? I don't have to tell you that. You don't have to, but you're anonymous, so just tell us. Well, at least uh, fat women can get men. Yeah, well, you can get a man who's disabled and then gets a disability check. I see here you're 19. How old is your boyfriend? 21. And he's already disabled. I'm sure he's got a very bright future. <laughs> right? That is the kind of man that yeah, fat women get. Trying to get a job. Well, that's great. Uh, I'm trying to build a ladder to the moon. Trying to get a job is not the same as getting a job, or having a job, or going to work every day. What is he blind? No. What's his disability? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? This is your boyfriend. You don't. He gets a disability check, but you don't know what his disability is. Yeah. What is it? <laughs> My God. We know what yours is. You are horribly fat. What is his? Oh, I'm only... Oh, my gosh. I'm not that fat. How fat are you? 30 pounds overweight. No, darling. I see your weight on the screen here. Dean got it from you. It says here you're 5'2 and you weigh 167. Now, that may be 30 pounds overweight in Ohio, where you're calling from, but in Los Angeles, that's more like 50 pounds overweight. She's a piggy piggy. Uh, no, you're just an ass. I'm a professional ass. I'm a son of a bitch. I'm a bastard. <laughs> well, one thing I know for sure is that fat women like you, all you can get is disabled guys who get a disability check. That's what you get. 
or guys who can't get a job. Yeah, by the way, your man doesn't even have a job. You know, he has an income. He doesn't have a job. You can't get a man with a job. So? So you made my point for me. By the way, darling, are you aware that over 150 pounds birth control pills don't work as effectively? You aware of that? Uh, so? Oh, yeah, you probably don't use those, right? Yeah, I do. You do? You might you might want to talk to the doctor. You might need to take two. <laughs> and uh, what kind of lingerie are you into? Now I have to find out. 167 pounds and 5'2". Oh, she hung up. <laughs> oh, boy, she sure showed me. 1-800-5-800-TOM. I'm talking to the haters. Let's say hello here to Doug in Portland, Oregon, home of the other white meat on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, professional a-hole. Uh, yes, I am a professional a-hole, sir. Thank you. I know. So I probably won't be as good as tearing the piss out of you as you practice, because I don't make it a point to do that. But I ain't going to bust your balls about being a fat slob either. Good. Only, That's a good who, idea. Who only can get women, you know, with money? But I don't buy them, give women any money. So that's no, just that's, not true. That's, that's the whole joke is you play yourself out. You sit here and try to teach everyone how not to spend money and be a jerk. And I don't spend money either. I know, but the, the ironic thing is that's the only thing you have to offer is money. But I don't offer it because I don't pay it out. Well, then why would they get with your disgust? Because women out? think that they can change men, and they think that once they give away a little no sex one, as a loss leader... You. No one wants to change Yes, you. they do. Yes, they do. They want to change me. By the way, I didn't know you were gay, and you're such a great judge of what men look like. I think that's fantastic. Do you go to gay bars in Portland? Which gay bars do you frequent? No, and I have to admit, I don't like fat girls either. But uh, well, there you go. I, you know, guess what? I don't have millions of dollars. I've gotten laid forever. Unlike yeah, well, guess what? Having millions of dollars is part of who I am. But it's what good does it do you? Oh what, yeah. It's, what good does it do me? It, uh, I, I get sex from anybody I want, well, anybody I, I want, and then I don't pay out any money. It's fantastic. So do I. And I, you know what? I don't have to sit there and play myself out and go, the only thing you're worth... What do you think I do? You think I walk up to women and say, hey, here's my financial statement? Forget it. I don't do that. You're crazy. Yeah, you do. You give me... You have no idea what I do. Of course, unless you've been at the gay bars trying to figure it out. Oh, come on. You should see my girl. She's insane. Oh, huh? please. In Portland? Please. All the hot chicks leave Portland and they come to California. Yeah, they go to they go to Florida. Yeah, then that, the hot chicks, hot chicks don't stay in Portland. We came back. I'm from California. She's from here. We met in Hawaii, where I met the hottest chick on the beach and moved to Portland. Don't worry. She'll gain 50 pounds soon enough. <laughs> Guess what? The reason I called you a maggot to your, your, your boy there is because... Did you hang up? No. Because, you know, if we were in person, there's... No way you'd have control of the conversation. Well, guess what? This is this is my show. You know, know. if you don't want to be if you don't want to be at a show where I have control of the conversation, why don't you call up uh, Lars Larson? He'll let you bl blather on oh, for God. hours and hours. You know Go what? right ahead. I listen to that idiot. Why don't you too? call up Randy Rhodes? He's got you know, five call uh, five lines. No waiting. Just dial right in over there. Well, just like you, they have to. They have to be. What's on there. that sports talk station now? Call in over there. Nobody listening over there. Call right in. You can talk about uh, Portland's uh, one professional sports team. Go ahead and call in. They have a sports station in Portland. Can you believe that? Damn it! I'm a Lakers fan. Anyway, call in over there. Are you kidding me? There's there's a host on the air begging for phone calls on the sports station in Portland right now. He'll let you talk as long as you want. Okay. Well, maybe I'll do that, Tom. But All right, go right ahead. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Nicole. We're talking to haters only this hour. Hello. Mm, hey, Tom. Yes? What's up? This is Nicole. I just said that. Well, good. I'm glad. I want to let you know that I don't just hate you. You are the bane of my existence. Really? <laughs> yes. Well, thank you so much. I'm glad I worked so hard to get to that point and it paid off. 
Oh, well, I'm glad to. You know, you caused a lot of fights with me and my boyfriend. He doesn't want to marry me anymore, thanks to you. Very nice. Yes, and I would like to let you know that I'm sick of you putting down fat women because I've seen photos of you on the Internet and you are... Oh, please, Donna, you're not, you know what? You're not revealing anything people don't already know. I know you think you're clever. But the reality is everybody knows who I am and what I am, including uh, everybody listening right now. And everybody still wants to sleep with you, right? Yes, they do. Well, here's one person that doesn't. Well, right that, here no, because you've got a boyfriend who you're trying to get to marry you who now is not going if to I marry you. Single, I would thanks to the Tom Likas show. But, yeah, of course, you are single because your boyfriend is never going to marry you thanks to me. <sighs> Whatever. You're going to be not... single. If you go out with this guy, you're going to be single forever because he's going to follow uh, my instruction. Oh, sure. Well, you know something? I could get whoever I want, and I have no interest Well, well in really? Well, guess what? You can't, woman you can't, no you you can't get me. You can't get them to marry you. That's what you can't get. And you can? Uh, I've been married four times. Oh, and they just won't stay. So oh, I can't get... Time. No, I kicked them all out. And by the way, I can get married anytime I want. I'm rich. Yeah, uh, that's what people say. We're burned and they've got nothing. What? <laughs> You heard what I said. I just bought a you second house. Nothing. What are you kidding me? I just bought a second house, you moron. I have a seven-figure income. Oh, wow. That really makes you rich I've got nothing. Oh, yeah. Well, that, oh, yeah. Makes me rich emotionally. Listen to you. You're such a wonderful person emotionally. Full of hatred and bitterness because your just boyfriend now you. isn't going to marry you. Your boyfriend now is not. How do you feel about that? Your boyfriend now is not going to marry you. Yeah, and it's thanks No to matter you. how you try to manipulate him, it's not going to happen. Yeah, I'm going to find someone who hates you just as much as I do, and we'll have a wedding in honor of it. Oh, so you're going to break up with your boyfriend? Let's tell him right now. <laughs> yeah, you can give him a call. All right, what's his number? Hang on, I'm going to have you, you give the number to Dean, we'll call him right now. <laughs> yeah, laugh it up. Go ahead, Dean, get the number. we call him right now. Uh, this is Debbie on the Tom Likey Show. I'm talking to haters. Hello. Hi. Hi. Well, you want to hear my reasons? You called me. You're right. So here's the Oh, wait. One. Nicole backed down when she was on hold. Didn't give Dean the phone number. Ah, Nicole, you chickened out, huh? Where are you, Nicole? Awfully quiet over there now, Big Mouth. Yeah, she's gone. And she's just sitting there saying nothing. She's speechless. All right. Sorry. Go ahead, Debbie. Okay, well, number one, bragging about how much you make and what you own and how much you pay. Oh, yeah, I'm a multimillionaire. Yes, I'm a self-made multimillionaire. I'm proud of it. But we get tired of hearing it, Tom. It's old. Well, again, if people were tired of hearing it, if people were tired of hearing it, I wouldn't be number one in the afternoon, Debbie. Listen for a couple other reasons. I don't care what the reasons are. It doesn't matter. You know, when they count the bodies, I don't care why. I don't care if people think it's like a car wreck and they have to tune in because they have to slow down. I don't care. It's making me rich. People like you are making me rich. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Hey, how about how you don't want no kids, but, you know, you start touting medical reasons why you can't get a vasectomy. Is it because you're too... I didn't tout good? medical reasons why I couldn't have a vasectomy. That's a lie. That's you're completely you misquoted. Me. That's not what I said. That is not what I said. Yeah, what... I never say, said Tom? it, ever. What did you say? I'll, I'll pay you $10,000 cash if you can produce a tape of me saying that. Uh, guess I didn't Let, have it exact. Guess you didn't, you old uh, bitch. Get off the air. Dried up old bag. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom.